Hi and welcome back to the Guitarist Guru series and for this session we are going to be looking at picks or plectrums. Right, so obviously we want to make sure our left hand is doing what it needs to do with regards to kind of finding the notes and, and fretting the notes but the right hand is also hugely important if not more so because without this hand we're not going to get much out of this hand. So. I tend to use, when I'm, when I'm playing my electric guitar anyway, uh, a pick or a plectrum and people can hold it in different ways to kind of get this to, to sit comfortably with themselves but I'm going to show you the way I play it, or just the way I use a plectrum and the way I kind of hold it as well. But let's have a quick closer look at this. Right, so I've got two types of guitar pick here. And the first one is a little bit bigger than the one I normally use. As you can see there, that's, that's one size here. And actually this is the, the pick that I use. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, now the reason I use uh, a pick that's a little bit smaller is that I find that getting closer to the strings, for me, um, works better. I sometimes find that having a bigger pick especially on the electric guitar, doesn't really help me. It kind of gets in the way. But I do find that I tend to use a bigger pick when I'm playing an acoustic guitar. Um, so it's a, kind of, it is a personal choice. And picks come, or plectrums, come in all shapes and sizes, different colours, different grips, and different thicknesses as well. The one I've got here is of medium, medium thickness. All right. The one I've got here, the small one, is really rigid. It's quite, it's quite heavy. Okay, and you can't bend it as easy as you can this one, all right? But I would recommend if you're starting out at this, this is all new to you, um, I'd use something that's quite thin because it'll make your life probably a little bit easier and it's less, it's, it's more forgiving when you, when you play, all right? Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate with this pick because you can see, see this a little bit better. Right, so how do we do it? How do we hold it? Now, first of all, different players have different grips for picks. Now, I, I'll show you how I use mine and how I put it together. So, I take my right hand, because this is my uh, strumming, strumming hand, I put my thumb up like that, and what I do here is I put the plectrum just to the face of my thumb at right angles, so i.e. the same direction as the neck of my guitar, all right, so I put it like that, so you can see it's nice, it's nice and flat against that thumb. All right, with my first finger here, I use this as a trigger, so if I'm pulling a, a trigger on a gun, or whatever, <laughs> whatever you need to pull your trigger on for, um, is you put it like that, and you see the first, this part of my finger rolls over and kind of clamps to that pick. Now, that's kind of where we are with it at the moment, all right? So if I turn it that way, now what you'll find is the pick is, is protruding here and your first finger and your thumb are flat, right? So you can kind of run your fingers over like that. Now what that's giving me the opportunity to do, if I turn that that way and I imagine that my finger now is the, the string, the thumb, thumb and my first finger aren't getting in the way of the strings. Sometimes if I go flat like that and my first finger's up like that, if I now go and play the string, it gets in the way, all right? So you need to kind of keep it nice and tucked up. Now the thing is as well, you also want to free up these fingers a bit more, because when you're really gripping like that, it, it, doesn't, really, it doesn't really work. All the pick is, it, it acts as an extension of your fingers onto the strings, and just enables you to kind of strum the strings a little bit easier, all right? So what I tend to say, right, start again, put your thumb there, bang, just kind of grip it so it feels comfortable. There's a little hole here that helps as well. Just kind of let, let that hand kind of throw out like that. But technically, that is how I tend to grip my pick. Um, what I'll also do is maybe, because I, I'm using the bigger pick here, okay, so there's a lot more surface area that's on show here. I might just tuck that in a little bit more, just tuck it up. So I'm, I'm losing some of the surface area. My, the idea is that the closer I can get my hand 
to the strings, okay, the more control I have when I'm playing. So, when you're strumming with your guitar, with your right hand here, um, what you'll tend to find is you've got to really relax it. If it's really rigid, you get that horrible, horrible sound. But if you're nice and relaxed and let that hand kind of float around a little bit, kind of brushing, it's like brush strokes. Just imagine you're painting up and down the guitar. Okay. Now, actually, I'm not gripping that plectrum very hard at all, really. It's literally just kind of sitting in my fingers and it's comfortable. All right. So that's how I grip my, my plectrum. You want to kind of trial, trial it out um, and go for what you feel comfortable. But I hope that helps, and I hope that helps towards kind of getting you comfortable with your right hand technique as well as what you know we're looking at your your left hand as well good stuff and i'll see you next time